Hey, what's up, y'all? This is John Fred Young from the band Blackstone Cherry, and you are watching Loud TV. Steve, our uh, Steve Jewell, our, our bass player, he's a he's a monster, man. We've known Steve for a long time. He's he's a little younger than we are, so um, he he's from um, the county next to us. So we grew up, and and he he had a awesome band called Otis, a very cool blues rock band, and um, they actually came over a couple years ago, and and we did some shows together in the UK. But uh, yeah, Steve, he's awesome, man. He's our, he's our brother, man. Uh, you know, it, with, with Steve, we had just known him so long. And you know, in, in our area back home in Kentucky, there's, there's so many great musicians. And it's, I don't know if it's just something in the water, you know, in, in our kind of uh, Metcalf County and, and Barron County where, where Ben lives. Um, Chris and I live in Metcalf and we have, you know, my, my dad's band, the Kentucky Headhunters. Of course, you know, grew up in the in the '60s and throughout the '70s as a rock band, and you know, later formed into to the Kentucky Headhunters. And I think that you know, even before those guys were were creating, you know, the the South Central Kentucky sound, there were a lot of other bands that were around the area, even in like Louisville, Kentucky. You know, Kentucky's very. It, it's just I don't know, man. There's something in the water that. There's so many musicians and everything from you know country to bluegrass, you know rock bands and I think um, and, and even like you know had a great rap band Nappy Roots out of Bowling Green that were they were massive in the mid 2000s. So there's a lot of music there. So I think our our relationship with Steve, you know, with him being you know like our our bro ever since he was younger, um, yeah man, it was just like perfect. You know, he's. Uh, yeah, he's just a monster, dude. He's up there slinging that bass around. <laughs> it's in the water, maybe in the boat. But... I think it's in the water, man. I really, I really do. You know, there's, there's been a, a lot of conversations we've had over the years, and uh, you know, it, you think of all the great artists and, and bands that have come out of there. You know, um, I mean, Billy Ray Cyrus. He's from Eastern Kentucky. You know, uh, it, it, but it just goes on. There's so many. America has so many. Um, you know different regions that that bands have came out of and it it's crazy you think about you know with with skinnard you know being from florida and then zz top from texas and i mean the, the list goes on and on but all these these little pockets of these southern states have made so many cool southern rock and and rock and roll bands you know <laughs> You know, it was really different, obviously, I mean, for everyone in the world. But I think for us as performers, you know, not being on stage, it, it was hard. I will say that the thing that I, I enjoyed about, you know, such a, a, a negative time, but I, I think the thing I enjoyed is um, was being home and being with my kids. And I, my wife and I had our third uh, daughter born in August of, of 2020. So I, I got to be home with her. And, um, but yeah, that was, the, the home life was great, you know, but we definitely miss being out on stage and on tour and, you know, just being able to, to play, you know. Taking a full year off, you know. I mean, in, in 2020, we actually played six shows. So we did a couple shows in Florida with our buddy Steel Panther. That was great and one in Tennessee, and then we did a home show in Glasgow, Kentucky, and we did it in a big park, big field, and uh, those were great, you know, but six shows out of a year, we normally probably do maybe 200, 250 shows a year, I'm just guessing, um, but you know, coming, coming back 
in 2021 when things in America started opening back up. Uh, you know, as a drummer, it's we were we were talking about this the other night. Uh, TJ, our, our buddy that sings with the Thunderbolts, you know, going out on the weekends is it's. It, we we do this in, in the states where you know you'll you'll maybe for some period of time you won't be on an actual long tour. You'll do Friday and Saturday or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and those are actually harder than doing a full tour because you're you're kind of in and out of this you know muscle memory phase. And like I know for singers it's really hard because I think with the way that TJ sings, he's a monster singer, and the way Chris sings monster vocals those guys are really pushing you know so we were discussing you know being out and and training your muscles you know whether it's playing drums or even muscle memory playing guitar it's harder to do the weekend stuff than it is just a long tour you know you can obviously do too much in a tour and, and strain yourself but i think as far as playing the drums it took me about 10 shows to really get back into like not just the headspace, but like the muscle memory of like, wow, man, build, building the stamina, you know? So now we're good though, you know, we're, we're in it, we're hitting it, so. <laughs> well, I think, I think our, um, our style of music, you know, calls for that. And uh, I, you know, some nights, I mean, we played last night in, um, in Bordeaux. It was the hottest show of the whole tour. And it was just, you could, I mean, you could not grip anything, you know? And I have a, uh, I have a bag of uh, weightlifting powder, you know, we call it like chalk. And it was so funny because I could, my hands were so wet, I couldn't even hold, hold the chalk. I was grabbing it, you know, putting it on my hands. And then I have a fan that blows, you know? So it's funny because I was really putting it on. And the last time I hit it, I did, and it went poof, and it just covered my face. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh gosh. But it was so hot. I mean, just humid. And, and you, but those are, those are magical shows, you know. Too. I mean, like being a guitar player, he he uh, he does not like air conditioning on stage. It's funny because he and a couple other guys on our bus want the bus frigid. I mean, like the North Pole cold. But on stage, he's like, no, I don't want it cold. I want I want it just sweating. You know, it's hard to hold sticks though. It's hard, man. Get to thinking about this the other day and so we have actually released three live recordings over our, our career so the um the first one was in 2007 at the astoria in london which which is no more they i think they tore it down and turned it into apartment complexes but that was really awesome we did that on halloween night and it's a it's a, I think the production on it may have been 1,000 units or maybe 1,200, and that was it. So it was just a, they had a mobile recording truck come out. They, they you know, recorded the show, and that was our first headline sh tour uh, of shows in, um, in Europe and England. So that was really cool. Then we did a um, live from... Uh, Birmingham DVD in 14 so we did uh, we did the arena there but um, the the Royal Albert Hall uh, show the live DVD I mean that was that was something else that was pretty uh, I tell you I walked in there and you know the I mean just for sound check you know you walk in and you're just like wow this is this is really something different you know it was super special and you know, I, we had some of our, our family from the States come over. and Yeah, man. It was a night to remember for sure. You know, we play a lot of, like, tonight is a beautiful venue here in, in Paris. and But sometimes, you know, you do, like, the, the kind of rock and roll nightclub, you know. And those are great. I mean, we love those. Um, and the arenas are great. Obviously, there's, there's, you know, there's more people. But, you know, I think where we really really do well is in the medium-sized venues and and I, I don't say that and mean that oh we don't love playing the arenas but there's just you know there's an intimacy to having those moments with the fans in you know like a like a 1500 or 2000 seat you know venue so but um but yeah i mean we 
we will put on the same show anywhere if it's for five people or 50,000, you know, <laughs> so. So it seems that you love, you love England to record a live album. Well, look, we're getting a lot of heat, okay? Because everybody's like, when are you gonna do a, a live DVD from, from uh, you know, France? Or, you know, our, our German fans are like, why are you not doing it here? You know, or the Italians, but we, we're going to. We just, we gotta, yeah, we gotta find the right place. And, you know, but that, that's, that's, uh, that's something we've gotta do for sure. We started working on the new record um, this summer, and we've got about, I think there's about eight songs right now that we have done, and we're gonna go back in in December and finish up the rest. So, uh, really, really cool situation. We've got um, our, our old theater back in uh, Glasgow, Kentucky, where Ben lives. We, we do our home shows there. We do them every uh, every two years at Christmas. So we have recorded the drums in this big, beautiful theater, and they just sound they sound incredible. I mean, even with me playing them, they sound incredible. Um, and we're we're uh, going uh, uh, to my house to do vocals and guitars. So really cool, man. It's it's some. Uh, I think this. I think people will really love the songs and and the playing. And you know, it's been. Um, so we recorded the Human Condition in 2020, and it, you know when we were doing that, it, everything with COVID was you know it was really starting to to you know rise up, and we got done with that record two days before our our state kind of you know locked us down. So we were lucky to get that done. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's wild because you know we're we're just now playing you know that record <laughs> here you know in in Paris and throughout Europe. Um, but I think that, uh, I think probably next year, early next year, we'll have a, a new record out, so. Well, the first, so, so the first seven or eight we have done are really, the, the lyrics on them are, are very heartfelt and, and great. Um, the music is uh, really heavy, uh, but also there's, you know, there's the, the Blackstone Cherry, you know, ballad, you know, or two, so, um, yeah. Can't give away too much because <laughs> I don't even know what the other ones sound like yet because we haven't really finished those. So, <laughs> so we, we do the show tonight and then we fly home and we're off for about, I think it's like two and a half weeks and we go to Canada with our buddies in Steel Panther and we love those guys. They're, they're so great. Um, we go do, I think it's about three weeks up, up throughout Canada and we have a couple shows in the, in the States kind of, we drop down and, like or uh, yeah, well, is it North, North Dakota maybe I think, or one, and there's one more. And then when we get done with that tour, we are, we're home. I'm trying to think Well, we, we kind of have a break and probably I think maybe one or two weekend shows, <laughs> you know, um, and then we start doing the finishing the record in in December. So, yeah, and festivals then we, next year. Oh man, festivals! I I was it, we were just hanging out with our um, our awesome booking agent last night, and we were talking about you know what's what's coming up in the summer of next year. So, yeah, we love doing the festivals. I mean, it's uh, it, it's it, it's such a different vibe because it's it, festivals are just I don't know, man. There's something special, you oh. know. Yeah, it's it is a it's a party. It's it's fun and and the people that I know the festival goers they love you know if it's you know, like you know Hellfest or you know it's uh you know in England obviously you know download and um, but they're always a good time and um, hopefully we can you know we can get to do some of those this year so and we're yeah so just staying busy. Man. <laughs>